Hello and welcome to the RIA tutorial. My name is Peter and today I'm going to show you what is a shaft encoder. Such a shaft encoder is very important for us in order to give us the correct speed and position of a product passing our printhead. And it guarantees to have a very good print quality. Such a shaft encoder usually comes with a measuring wheel. And this measuring wheel in my case has 200 millimeters in circumference. And on my type board it says my shaft encoder has 5,000 pulses. These 5,000 pulses are given by one turn. So if I got 200 millimeters circumference and 5,000 pulses, I got 25 pulses per millimeter. For sure we got different circumferences and forms and types of wheels, but we will keep with this one in order to keep it simple. The connection to our Titan controller is very important and is quite sensitive. So please make sure if you connect your cable to the Titan controller and to the shaft encoder not to damage any pins of this connection. Now how to do the installation settings, we will go to the Titan controller. To change or edit the setting for the installation of our shaft encoder, we navigate to the main menu and to the installation settings. Now default there are two installation settings installed at the controller. I choose extern means EXT for an external installed shaft encoder and I will check for product movement because we want to detect our product movement. And we will choose the shaft encoder. The pulse rate, remember, is calculated by the pulses per turn of a shaft encoder and the circumference of the installed wheel. Now we got different wheels with different circumferences, so make sure that you have here installed the correct pulse rate and cal calculated it well. The direction is also quite important to get a good signal from the shaft encoder. So this is responsible for the direction of the turn of the wheel. You can choose it and change it by simply pressing the button. Now basically our installation is done here and we assign with F1 as usual and continue with yes. To check if our installation has been done correctly and the parameters have been chosen well, we check the info screen with F5. So we see a shaft encoder shown here and if the wheel is spinning, in my case, to the left, the direction has been chosen correctly. If it turns the other way around, we get a warning sign here in the yellow triangle. Additionally, underneath you see line speed. So this is then actually the speed of the product, the speed of the production line. If you got such a sign, then everything has been done correctly. Now basically our installation is finished now and with escape, we can go back to our main screen. This is how to do the settings of the shaft encoder in the installation settings. For further information, please find our contact details below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Yours, Peter.